It's another beautiful day here in Palm Springs. It's 110, 111 degrees. It's about 10% humidity. We're looking at the Jacinto Mountains. And we're here today to look at this 1979 Cougar XR7 with the Midnight Chamois Decor Package. We'll do a walk around video and I will show you some of the flaws. It's a 10 footer. Shows pretty well from 10 feet or further. Hopefully this video will be somewhat steady. I'm just using a Nikon Coolpix in video mode, obviously. Got the padded Continental kit. The bumpers are really quite shiny. I think they've been re-chromed. This car is about 78 inches wide and some change. 53 inches high. And I believe it's about 215 inches long overall. When you ordered the Midnight Chamois Decor Package, you got color key inserts on the, uh, the grill, the chamois, along with the uh, bumper rub strips. And of course, the Midnight Blue. This also came in black and I believe white. Quad headlights, glass of course, so they will never fade. Of course, you got the chamois trim along the side, chrome moldings, stainless steel. And these special wheels, these are the polycast wheels. They are plastic bonded to steel with a stainless steel trim ring. They are quite heavy. Of course, the racing mirrors. And then uh, kind of a chamois insert on the key. The wheels have a special bolt right here. They're ribbed. Good tool. This is, we do have the dual take them off. This particular car has had the Landau roof redone. The vinyl is almost the correct color but it does not have the uh, pigskin texture like you see on the original um, Continental kit. The tail lamps are very much in the vein of the 74, 75, 76 uh, Continental Mark IV. Again, you get the rope strips and the uh, plastic chrome. Tags are up to date. Just renewed them, so they're good for a year here in California if you're a California buyer. This did pass submissions in June of 2017, which is when I purchased it. I've put on about 300 miles on this car over the past year. We use it mainly for cruising here in town, going to the bars, out to dinner, what have you. There's a interesting car scene here, vintage cars. You see all kinds of cars. Oddballs, Studebakers, Ramblers, Exotics, you name it, they're here. It's the best part of this car is the interior. Um, locked it. You have the special door pad panels with what they call the plush Tiffany carpeting. The seats have buckles, belts and buckles, fake buckles. This is called um, Brookstone fabric. It's kind of like a hop sack. I don't know if you older people remember, remember wearing hop sack pants. With the center console with the more of the pigskin detail. That's a little blurry there. I'll go on the other side. There's a Cougar label there. And let's see, the ride tune suspension. Air conditioner does work. It's chattering right now, as I mentioned in the other videos. And because there is no sunshade on the sunroof, moonroof, the interior gets quite hot. Vanity mirrors, both sides. This also has an automatic seatback release when you 
open the doors so you don't have to reach down and pull that little lever. Someone in the past, a previous owner, did the custom back seat area semi buckets using uh, the, the backs of front seat. It's pretty striking. I like it. One of the reasons I bought this car again, it's for the interior. It's really pretty nice. Let's see. I'll show you some flaws. This is, uh, you can probably see the square here. It's been repainted a couple times, and it seems like it's been done a panel at a time. The door ends have been painted, of course. These should all be natural screws, natural steel. A good sign the car has been painted. Or they don't take out all the hardware. They normally paint all over the screws. The striker bar is clean. This is the tire level. As are the sills. It's a little dull underneath here. I don't know if there's Bondo or not. This car was in the Midwest at one time, Ohio. It originally was ordered in uh, Newport Beach by Ford Executive for a lease. There's a little dent in the molding here. And then right in here, there's a, um, another dent. Up here on the hood, you get some checking in the paint. And then some various scratches up right there. Front end looks good. You have the Cougar, of course. Some light scratching on the roof and the pillars. The grill does move. And then there's a little bit continuance of the grill underneath here. You can see it's got a lot of road rash. There's a noticeable dis difference between the uh, top of the fender and the hood. The hood is a lot duller than the, the balance of the car. Very metallic-y. I think this was probably the one of the last, last panels to be painted. It does have a very poor fade right in here. I'll get back. Show you that. And another little scratch in here and then scratches along lock plate. More cougar. This uh, quarter window is fixed. There's some more scratches in here on the left rear flare. Power antenna which works and then some various scratches up along on the top of the uh, deck lid. Excuse me, the uh, rag is pretty high today. How to use a handkerchief to open this. So hot, 111 degrees. It doesn't feel like it though. This door has also been repainted on the end. As you can see, the screws have been painted over. And then a clean striker plate, and then the emissions label. Even the vinyl gets hot. <laughs> it's got uh, assist straps back here. Seatbelt was repaired here. There's a couple little stains in the fabric right about here and then up here. But overall, it's amazing condition. It's showing uh, 70,944. Is that what it says? Yes, 70,944 miles, which I think is uh, original. I doubt that this has 170,000 miles on it. AM FM radio with the cassette. I don't know if the cassette works. Power antenna, um, interval wipers. The steering wheel is upside down right now, but uh, it does have uh, cruise control. Horn works. This is coming off a little here. I normally don't use this one because it does slip and come off. Automatic handbrake release when you put it. Okay, sorry about that. This camera stops after nine minutes. Of um, Six-way power seats on the driver's side. And then, of course, you got the moonroof. Right. There are courtesy lamps and a map lamp. Headliner is pretty good. There's some wrinkles in it. 
should I get the driver's side here? Of course, I don't have the ignition on, so the lights aren't going on. There's some scratches along the top. Something like 3,000, just over 3,000 were made in this particular uh, color combination. And I believe it's just over 6,000 total were manufactured with the chamois decor package. All the glass is good. It does have a heated rear window. I don't know if it works. It doesn't get cold enough or icy enough here in Palm Springs to test it out. As you can see, the back package shelf is in excellent condition. Four speakers. There's touch-ups every now and then. There's a little uh, cut there. This is really deep. It's kind of weird the way they did. I did that. It's like that on both sides. It doesn't leak that I know of. I uh, do not have access to a uh, hose and to hand wash the car, so I run it to a hand wash here in town. They run it through a uh, spray booth, and it doesn't leak. Occasionally, get a little water dribbling off here, but nothing, nothing that I've seen coming on the inside. The dash has been redone, I think. I think they, uh, it's soft. It's kind of a strange coppery color. Um, some of the vinyl also appears to have been uh, repainted. But, you know, overall, it's a great car. I love it. The only reason I'm selling it is I want to get something more practical. Something like a four-door sedan. I've been driving vintage cars for 24, 25 years now. I only had one new car in my entire life, and that was back in 88. It was a piece of junk. So uh, I'm going to, after we sell this, buy a four-door sedan, and it'll probably also be 39, 40 years old. I just love driving these old cars. Who would have thought that I'd be driving a big old American car now? Because, you know, truthfully, back then I hated these cars. I wanted a sports car. I drove a, a 65 Corvair Turbo when this car was new. But it's quite stylish. It, it gets a lot of looks here in town. The color is just spectacular. And with the paint job, I'm sure it'll look even more spectacular. It's about 3.15 in the afternoon, so... I hope there isn't too much glare that you can see all this. Let me do a low so you can get a better look at all of this. I haven't driven this on the highway, I use it only in town, so. picking up here so I'm sure you're hearing the buffering. No cracks in the windshield. I think it's been replaced. There's some uh, fresh looking uh, rubber on the inside.
remote control mirror. There's also a remote on the right side. You can see some of that rubber is still on the Just had the oil changed. Some mobile oil with high speed contact. So there you go. 1979 Mercury Cougar XR7 with the Midnight Chamois Decor Package. Such a stylish car, it really is. Very stylish. Okay, that'll be it for now. Here's a close up of the cougar.